Kennedy just back with another video. So recently Robert Kennedy Jr. was just on CNN and I just want to play a little a small clip of uh, talking about of Robert Kennedy Jr. talking about how it's too late to back down and then uh, once we react to that or once we watch it we'll talk about it after like usual. They're also worried that you know what my sister said that you know my candidacy may get Trump elected. What I happens if it does? Yeah. What happens if you wake up the day after the election? We have Ooh. results and that is what happened. Well, yeah. Will you regret it? What, what, what I what I said to you applies to that. I don't think even President Trump or President Biden are going to solve the debt crisis in this country, which is existential. I don't think either of them are going to get us out of foreign wars. This addiction that we have to forever wars. I don't think that either of them are capable of ending the corporate capture of all of our agencies, the capture of the CIA by the military industrial complex, the capture of NIH, CDC, and FDA by the pharmaceutical companies, the capture of USDA by processed food and big ag. They're not going to do anything about that. So it's going to be more of the same, whoever gets elected. There's going to be changes around the margins, you know, like that tax on abortion or whatever. But both of them only have four years, and I don't think they can dismantle democracy in four years. I think Americans' institutions are too great for that. And the chance for me to actually change the nature of governance in this country, to restore democracy, to restore our nation's moral authority abroad, have us a for give us a foreign policy that's not based on war, war or projecting military power abroad, but on projecting economic power and moral strength. The chances of that happening are too great and too important for me to give up this contest. Right. Bobby Kennedy, thank you very much. I really appreciate your time. Aaron, thanks for having me. So <clears throat> the first thing I want to say, I, the CNN host, I love how she's just like, well, what if you cause Donald Trump's presidency? Like, so what? Like he said, whether it's Trump or Biden, most is going to stay the same. Like, what are you so worried about? In my opinion, Trump is the slightly better option. But as Robert Kennedy said, he's not going to do anything about big agriculture. He's not going to do anything about stopping the forever wars. He's not going to fight the military industrial complex and expose the CIA, expose the JFK files, drain the swamp, all which he said he would do. And he didn't. Biden is a corpse who can't walk or speak or think, let alone run a country, not to mention look at all the bad policies with regards to inflation, forever wars, all the donation money coming from big, powerful elitists that he takes, which means he's bought and paid for by those corporate shill. He's a corporate shill, basically. We got politicians like that up here in Canada, trust me. Uh, you know, and, you know, the other thing he said, too, that, that I really like is that, you know, the stakes are so high, it's too late to back down. And I like that attitude from him. I like the fact that he's going to stay in there and make sure that, you know, when he has, when he sees an important issue, he likes to really go out and take and just go full steam into that issue and try to do whatever he can. We need a president like that. Trump and Biden don't do that. We've seen four years of both, guys. If you really think that Trump did everything he said he was going to do, go back and take a look at what actually happened. Were things better under Trump? Yes, I agree with you. Biden is worse. I agree with you. But there's still Trump's not good enough to say that he was something crazy like he was the best president ever. He wasn't. He's not the worst. But I don't know. Like If you had to give him side, I'd probably give him like a, a C- minus or maybe even a D+. Plus. Better than an F, which is pretty much what I've had for my whole life in terms of presidents. But now you have Robert Kennedy, who just based off what he, the things he's running off of, he's at least a B. I don't agree with him on everything. I've outlined that in many other videos. But the fact that he calls out BlackRock and the MIC and the CIA, he wants to stop wars. He wants to make sure that everything that's going into our body is safe for us. He wants a thriving middle class. He wants people to own homes. He doesn't want corpora corporations buying them all out from under us. So again, if you have not heard him speak, definitely go listen to him speak. I think this was a huge mistake for CNN to have him on. The, the more he speaks in front of liberals, considering that Robert Kennedy is a liberal, I think that helps him take more votes from Joe Biden. That being said, there are people who are not MAGA Trump supporters, but they're still going to pick Trump over Biden, like me, 
I'm going over to Robert Kennedy. So he is going to take votes from both sides. But CNN extend, trying to expose him, but then really exposing themselves. I mean, that was really, it was great to see that whole that whole uh, interview. If you haven't checked it out, definitely have a look at whether it's on YouTube or if you saw it live on CNN. But I would encourage you, if you don't like Robert Kennedy and you're thinking about picking Trump or Biden ahead of him, do yourself a favor and just go have a look and listen to this man speak. Watch him on Russell Brand's podcast or Peterson or this interview on CNN. He was on Rogan. There's tons of platforms where he has been on and everyone who he's on with seems to at least like him for the most part. It's not the same with other candidates. Not to mention Robert, uh, K, sorry, Robert Kennedy Jr.'s uh, approval rate, or sorry, um, what was that? They had a, a favorability rating for him, and he rated higher than Joe Biden and President Trump. But a lot of people won't vote for him because they're afraid of either Biden winning or they're afraid of Trump winning. Listen, like he said, it's four years and they're both gone anyway. They're not going to destroy the country in those four years, probably. So let's not even give them the chance to do it. Let's not even give them the chance to start World War III. In my opinion, Robert Kennedy Jr. has is the least likely to start a World War III. People might be worried about that with its position on Gaza and Israel. I understand. I just don't think he let that happen. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this video. I always enjoy reading your comments. That's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.